So, Kilo Bewa Soritabili, what do you bring to the table? This is a conversation that is going to be rich and you would not like to miss it because this is something that a lot of young people are dealing with. What do you bring to the table? What are you going to offer me in this relationship? Am I going to enjoy myself? Am I going to be suffering? Are you going to be a cheat? Are you going to give me fake children? Are you going to make my life hell? Are you a man beater? Are you a woman? All this, all this and more is what you bring to the table. But a lot of people don't understand. They think it's all about material. Well, that's how some people have decided to interpret it. But it's not just about the material things. Let's be sincere. Hey, marriage is very deep. Now, I'm going to be addressing serious relationship leading to marriage. I'm not talking about those that are testing waters. Oh, you come testing waters here and there, here and there, here and there. It's okay. It's fine. Hey, do you. Do your thing. But don't test water with sex. Because <laughs> sex is way deeper than that. Okay? But let's talk about serious relationship leading to marriage. What do you bring to the table? <music> Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ono Zasi and this is Salvation Therapy. We are growing by the day. I want to say thank you to everyone that has subscribed to my channel, those that have shared my videos, those that are just coming for the first time. I know they're going to subscribe because this is a community of the big aunties and the big uncles. Thank you so much for being here and this is a fun family. We're going to be learning things. We're going to be enjoying ourselves. We're going to be glorifying God. We're going to be glorifying God together. Okay, so today's topic is what do you bring to the table? In recent times, this has been a question that has been asked in amongst young people and i feel like it is now being vocalized because when you want to get married to somebody you would want to know what they bring to the table like what do they offer you what is this wedding what is this marriage going to be for for me and what is it going to be for, for the other person so maybe it wasn't properly it wasn't as popular or as vocally you know um required or requested maybe it wasn't as vocally requested as it is now but we know that it has always been there what it's, it's always been there like who are you what can you do for me what I, can i do for you because marriage is all about companionship two people coming together to make things work and making things work is both the physical the financial the spiritual character wise everything to get that but in our own crime a lot of people have taken what this question is what do you bring to the table to mean only material things like who do you know? Who is your dad? Who is your mom? Um, what connections do you have? How many passports do you have? You know, people have taken it that way, forgetting that that is not the crime. That is not that is not the foundation of relationship. That shouldn't be the foundation of any marriage because all these things can pass. All, the, all these things will pass. When life throws you its blows, sometimes money cannot buy it off. Sometimes connection cannot buy it off. It is love. It is prayers. It is what you guys feel for each other that makes it work. Do you get it? What is what you guys feel for each other that makes it work? It's finance is not important. It is very important. I'm not going to come here and tell you that it's not important for both the man and the woman. And I'm saying it now, both the man and the woman to have something doing. It is important. So if as a young man, the woman is asking you what you bring to the table, I do not think that you should think that it is all about or decide in fact let me take this way do not respond to that question materially because if you respond to that question materially it means that you have nothing to offer outside of materials and marriage is dependent on that and if she is a materialistic person you will be able to know when you respond to such a question because you know that mm, this one is just about my money and let me take my leave i cannot deal with it but there are some men that we know that they like it like that so it's okay if that is you do you it's okay it's okay it's fine so um don't respond to the question materially alone talk about different things that your that coming into that girl's life will do for her and she's also going to talk about different things that coming into your life will do and it's not supposed to be one-sided one thing i've learned is it's the men that ask this question i mean a woman in your life is a, a good i mean a good woman let me use that word Having a good woman in your life is a blessing because there's so many things that a woman brings she brings security she brings um health she brings education, she brings reproduction, she brings better things, she brings money too, yeah, she brings money, so a lot of things, and funny enough, I feel like the married ones don't ask these questions, it's always the single ones who are not even in a relationship, I'm shouting, I don't get in the table, I don't get in the table, I don't get in the table, oh God, calm down, when you enter the relationship, you understand that there's so many things that relationship, good relationship offers you that cannot be explained by mere words, so you get me, 
you cannot be explained by mere words and in understanding what somebody brings to the table your core values must be known to you because you cannot be asking someone what they bring to the table if you don't even know what you want and that happens a lot some people don't even know what they want but they are what what exactly do you want what exactly do you want this marriage to offer you what exactly are, mm, what exactly do you want this relationship to offer you what exactly okay who exactly are you what are you trying to achieve with your life what is your life's purpose what is your life ambition what do you want to do with your life because by the time you're asking someone what they bring to the table it means that you already understand what you want to do with your life you are not that person who is an opportunist because unfortunately people have seen marriage and relationship as a means of livelihood for them that's what they do so you're not an opportunist trying to say oh your father is this person i love you no that's an opportunist so you are not going to be an opportunist trying to you know jump on something because you think that thing is okay that's exactly what i'm trying to say so you understand your core values you understand what works for you you know what works for you you know what you're looking for in your relationship and there is no relationship without the love of god in it agape is still the best if you love somebody because of what they can offer you at some point when you meet somebody that can give you more than that you stop loving the person that's some period you will stop loving the person immediately you know that oh there's someone else that can offer me bigger things you're going to stop loving the person so what happens eh what happens bro what happens sis? what happens after that and this has brought a lot of people running away from marriage saying marriage is this marriage is difficult because they went in for the wrong reasons they went they went in for the very wrong reasons marriage is deeper marriage is more concrete than all these things happening here and there that a lot of people are jumping on and doing okay so is it a bad thing to ask the question no but make sure that you understand what exactly you want and what you think that your relationship should be like and don't build castles in the air please don't build castles in the air if you see a young man that is hard working that is hard working i'm going to put that word out hard working that is working legitimately too hard working working legitimately that's not into any crime but is working leg legitimately that has good character that has good character that can at least take care of regular needs you know necessities that can take care of necessities at least at its level i don't think you should throw him away looking for someone that you have in your head that you think is just going to be point dollars on you point naira on you point pounds on you anyhow people that work legitimately don't have time to be squandering money you know that's what, uh, see how many times have you seen people like that go to parties and they're just lavishing money anyhow they they see how do they, hey when you legitimately work for your money you will not spend anyhow you get you will not spend anyhow it's like when i hear people say people in the in, in the uk they are so stingy go and work the hours they work go and do the things they do go and pay the bills they pay and be shouting they are so stingy what are you doing people mm. entitled bunch we know them so let's just follow let's just continue our conversation so if it's hard working it can take care of the necessities don't throw him away because you go together of course because it's hard working it cannot be on that same spot it's going to grow it's going to be better and she too is going to be better because i have heard now that a lot of men it is girls that have money that they are looking for too so if she doesn't have the kind of money you think she should have but she's hard working she's reasonable she can take care of necessities she is great she's a great woman why throw a great woman away and you got married one i'm not supposed to that, that, that you do not know i now start saying that uh, i don't know start writing things that you're not supposed to be writing after you're going to marry or start portraying the one that you should have married after you've gotten married that would be saying if i met you earlier i'd have married you shut up anyways let me know what you think in the comment section do you think that there are two extremes do you think that people just like the material things in relationship rather than the concrete things that relationship should be about let me know in the comments i'll see you guys again please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel bye